So over the past several years, I have really enjoyed using this little portable butane stove. I've used it in a lot of cooking videos. I like to cook outside in my garden and it is super easy, very convenient. It comes in a little um, case and a lot of these you can find them on Amazon for less than $30. Now there are a couple of things I wanted to share with you because I haven't really seen many videos on this on YouTube. And um, there is something very important about the canisters that you will use with these stoves. I know they're becoming much more popular, so I wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of this. You'll notice on the can on the right, it has on the label CRV, and this stands for countersink release vent, and that is a safety mechanism built into the top of the can. So the can on the left, um, when you look at the label, it is not listed as having a CRV. And so going back to look at the tops of the cans, the one on the right has the little blue line, which is my understanding is that indicates that it has the CRV. I wouldn't rely on the blue line. I also like to make sure it is listed on the label. And the one on the left, of course, does not have the blue line and it is not listed as CRV. Now you might wonder why would you want a release vent? Well, um, what happens is if that pressure builds up in the can and there's not a release vent, it will explode like a bomb. So I don't want to scare you guys too much, but um, it is very, these can be very dangerous if they're used incorrectly. I did stumble upon a video on YouTube where they did a demonstration and showed how it would explode by building the pressure up in the can. And so if it's heated at a high temperature, it can explode. Now I have always ordered my canisters off of Amazon and unfortunately I did receive a 12 pack which were not CRV listed and so that's where I have this can here that I'm showing you. Um, I also ordered 12 more cans and those came in dented and of course where these explode is at the top of the can. I'm not going to use that to cook with so I'm trying to right now actually get a refund and they're giving me, the seller is giving me a hard time about this. Not really Amazon but the seller is. Now I am an Amazon affiliate so I'll leave links below the video for some of the stoves if you're interested in one because I will receive a small commission but I want to make sure that you guys are reading your instruction manual that comes with it. Now what happens is with these cans that do not have uh, the CRV mechanism built into the top uh, is that if it's heated if pressure builds up in that can like I said the top will explode off and there was an, a review on Amazon where someone had bought some canisters which were not the CRV type and it exploded and I don't know under what circumstances he used it however he said he had to go to the emergency room and his friends did too. What you will not want to do when you're cooking with these stoves is don't use a pan or a pot that is bigger than 10 and a half inches wide and the reason is because it would overlap and lay on top of that um, canister. The canister compartment is here on the right and you just take that red lid off and just pop it right in there. There's a little notch. For example here is a very large skillet and if I put it on here you can see it lays over that compartment where the fuel is. And I can't even open the fuel compartment. Now this is what much too big and you wouldn't want to use this in the hot sun either because that could build up the uh, pressure in the can. So a lot of this is listed on your instruction manual. I don't think I saw much about the CRV. So I'm not scared of using these stoves at all. You just have to make sure you're using it correctly. They work great. Um, you just lock it down once you put your canister in and then you can um, adjust your heat. It lights up real easy. You don't need to use a match or anything like that. It ignites on its own with just turning your little knob there and I've always had uh, great results cooking on it. Um, so here I'm just going to cook a couple of eggs. It's early in the morning. You could see earlier in the video it was a little fog over the pond and 
I thought it'd be nice to cook a couple of eggs for the video. Now, I am only on YouTube, so if you found this information helpful, I'd like to ask you to share it on your favorite social media platform and let your friends and family know about these little stoves and the precautions they should take whenever they use them. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. And also take that extra step to hit the notification bell and select all videos because you won't receive my videos if you don't select all. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.